Now, we 31 Storm Cracker Meteorologist Carson Meredith with 31 Triple Dollar. You know, Carson, I can't help but think, you know, the cooler weather coming early next week, yeah. it means a lot of more people are going to want to build fires, maybe have yes. bonfires in mm -hmm. the backyard. Mm -hmm. But this cool weather is doing nothing to res relieve this drought. Not Absolutely not. You know, you would think that way because the growing season will come right. to an right. end, but mm -hmm. that doesn't help the fact that it's still dry. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the case. I mean, we need a ton of rain yes, we do. over the next couple of months. Let's give you the latest update of that drought monitor that came down yesterday. Look at that color scale at the top of your screen. You notice most of North Alabama in that orange color is in a level three drought on our one to five drought scale. The main areas of concern now are across Northeast Alabama, Jackson, DeKalb, Marshall counties in particular, as well as folks right along the Mississippi state line. Those red colors are a level four drought. We have not seen this kind of drought since 2016. And aside from a few showers on Monday, maybe a couple sprinkles today, there's no drought relief anytime soon. Sky camp show a cloudy picture this morning as the sun comes up. Temperatures for most in the low to mid 60s, most heading for the mid 80s this afternoon, despite those clouds holding tough. 84 is our forecast high today in Huntsville, also in Decatur and Muscle Shoals. Heading for 82 degrees in Athens and Scottsboro. 80 today in Guttersville, also 80 degrees today up in Fayetteville, Tennessee. Great weather for big game Friday night. Our game of the week, Austin against Huntsville. Kickoff temperature still pretty mild in the mid 70s and we'll stay in that 60s to low 70s range throughout all of those high school football games tonight. Future radar does show a few sprinkles with us, especially west of I-65 throughout the day, maybe as early as 9 a.m., but any showers that are with us today will start to lift to the north once we get past 3 o'clock. So if you are heading to those high school games tonight, don't worry about the umbrella. You're going to be just fine. We'll see some clearing skies overnight tonight, but the clouds, for the most part, will still be around. But as the day goes on Saturday, we'll see a little more sunshine and some clouds too, kind of that filtered sunshine on Saturday and all of the rain tomorrow will stay to our north. We're dry on Sunday as well. And as that cold front moves in on Monday of next week, it's going to be a different setup with that front because you'll notice the cool down first. Then you'll notice the showers behind the front. Best chance for showers will be Monday afternoon, Monday night. We could have some showers lingering into Halloween on Tuesday, but the big story, of course, is the big chill. We go from 86 Sunday to 57 for your high temperature on Halloween Tuesday. The kiddos will need the heavier coats with their costumes Tuesday night. 6 o'clock Tuesday evening will be near 50 down to the mid 40s by 8 o'clock on Tuesday night, but it may feel like the low 40s when you factor in the wind. And as you look at the 10-day forecast, overnight lows will be near freezing Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and Thursday night. It's becoming more and more likely we'll have our first frost or freeze of the season next week.